I think that the, it is absurd that we have this stigma about mental illness. The likelihood is that there are probably many people here tonight who've had a mental problem of some kind in the same way as we have ingrowing toenails or we have one or two other things wrong with our body. It just happens. And so I don't think it helps at all not to talk about them and yeah. pretend they don't exist and pretend we're... We all pretend we're right as rain. And I don't want to suggest, I, I, I'm slightly reticent about it because I think I've been incredibly lucky and I therefore do not wish to make it seem as if I'm saying, oh, poor little me. Yes. And I think many people who suffer from depression have that reticence. They think, oh, God, I can't talk about it because it will seem that I'm articulating a, a kind of special pleading. And that's not really something you're entitled to do or you feel you're entitled to do but actually once you begin to recognize that it's very common extremely yes. common to have some sort of episode of depression or other forms of you know mental disorder um was yours debilitating was it were you well yeah I, I couldn't i couldn't move yeah for how long um i don't know six months at least i mean a long time Quite a long time. Seemed, seemed a very, very long time. And what got you out of that particular immobility? Well, I took, um, I, I took lots of medicine. <laughs> I took lots of medicine and I, and I talked to a very sensible therapist. And clearly that brings you to where you are today. Still seeing a therapist, I take it? Uh, yes. And that's something you would recommend to those... You're a cheeky some... bugger, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, Takes one to know one, Jerry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, look, I'm not well, ashamed I, I, of no, it. No, I, I didn't suggest you were for a moment. Uh, no, but I'm no, just, I'll tell you, yes, what else you want to know?